In other words, freedom requires truth. Freedom requires character. Freedom requires a way of life. So it, it's rather like an apprenticeship in freedom. You can't, you can put a little kid in front of a piano and they can thump on the keys. And that's not music. And it takes the so-called 10,000 hours principle to learn to play the piano well. And the same is true of freedom. Freedom is not just doing whatever you like, because that will lead to chaos and so on. And so there's a real problem in America. There's a lot of libertarian freedom, which is all wrong. Or another way of putting it is, you know, I was at Oxford with Sir Isaiah Berlin. And he used to say, there are two parts of freedom, negative and positive. Negative freedom is freedom from. No one's free if they're under the control, say, of a bully in a schoolyard or domestic abuse or a colonial oppressor or a dictator. They're not free. You have to be free from. And of course, the biblical idea, we have to be set free to be free, ultimately, from sin. But that's only half of freedom. The other half of freedom is not freedom from, it's freedom for, freedom to be. And that requires truth and you have to have both. So there's a lot of American freedom that's very unrealistic and runs into the sand pretty quickly.